Hey y'all, uh, and I already know y'all suspected from the title what this video is going to be about, but pretty much this is my little personal, you know, uh, uh, 2008 wrap up reflection of that time, uh, year type video where I more or less talk about, you know, what's been going on lately and what's to expect to come in this coming year of 2019 and how I felt about shit and what was going on and you know, how I'm going to deal over it and probably even, you know, uh, tell more about myself, about y'all, you know, introduce myself some more and, you know, I tell y'all things I had to ditch and, you know, how I more or less was in this local motion state where I was literally in one place from another and, you know, more updates on what may be going on on things outside of YouTube for anyone who, you know, might be sticking around for uh, Instagram, my Instagram account or uh, my DeviantArt account, which I be submitting new uh, art pieces on that some of y'all might have already checked if you already didn't. I pretty much said it like a thousand times in like previous other videos so y'all can check it out anytime. I'll make sure to submit that in the link description down below as well as my Instagram account. And I, I know anyone who just got off seeing my, uh, my, my uh, Ruby Volume 6 Episode 9 and 10 uh, review, anyone who just got, who just finished seeing that, yeah, I know I was kind of, you know, like, overexerting, you know, my distaste for social media and Instagram and all that, like, you know, I was being really overdramatic, but, part, but of course, that's part of the gig, and, you know, that's, I was trying to, you know, pretty much sell my, uh, the, the, the comedy, the, the running gag of it more so, not running gag, because I just fucking bring it up that, that I'm not really big on social media, but, the only main reason why I even got a social media so I can, you know, get my work out and, you know, get my name out so more people can contribute and come to this channel, probably even donate to my DeviantArt account. I really wish y'all can do that somewhere in the future. Maybe probably right not now, but probably anytime later this year or next month or whatever and whatnot. Because, you know, yeah, your boy's kind of, you know, on a tight rope. He's um, kind of a rocking a hard spot right now and all that and and so on so yeah i'm just going to pass that on i'm actually going to finally get to the video and stop rambling about you know uh more other places you can y'all can find me at and whatnot um uh for start um uh, uh 2018 is where i finally as <laughs> i already said in my quiet storm video you know, if I'm not busy with, you know, personal shit, I'm, I might be still able to, you know, uh, make more videos for y'all and whatnot. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, uh, uh, if anyone saw that video, everyone knew that I might have been busy and whatnot. I'm pretty much reiterating what I just said, like, three minutes ago. But, yeah, more so, uh, that was a, uh, that video was tackling about, was tackling, you know, if I'm busy enough. Or if I'm too busy, I might not have time to make these videos and whatnot. And amongst other things, of course, that I'll cover later on in the video. Uh, but, you know, every time, you know, I've ever got some time on my hands, I'm ever, you know, just uh, chit-chatting with some folks or, uh, you know, just, um, you know, making these videos and whatnot. Uh, I actually really do like, I actually really do like the, uh, I actually do like making videos on YouTube. I know... A lot of people, a lot of people have their, their grievances with YouTube and, you know, they're slowly trying to uh, shift into Patreon, which actually one day I'm kind of, uh, I might actually consider myself going on, uh, going on Patreon, you know, finally actually uploading it instead of just already taking a pre-existing video from YouTube and smacking it on my Patreon account. You know, I might actually finally just upload some real artwork and whatnot and sketches and you know, and, and of course, open up a donation and whatnot, and maybe even tell y'all more shit that might be going on if, you know, anyone sticks around for uh, any other mm, uh, uh, accounts that may be up and whatnot. Uh, yeah, um, so where did I start with this shit? Uh, let's see, um, 2018, it was, uh, it was, it was something, I, I'll give it that, uh. Uh, for the most part, I have, I have mixed feelings about it, but and also times I can like you know, I think 2018 can you know go fuck itself, I guess. So yeah, it, it's a mixed bag. I have a mixed bag relationship uh, last year. Uh, a lot of people you know I cared about 
kind of, you know, kicked the bucket this year, you know. A lot of celebrities and whatnot, you know, just fucking just dropping it. Uh, some some uh, uh, surrogate loved ones, I would say, or 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 some friends, or you know, uh, people I, I've pretty much known for a while, uh, uh, kind of uh, passed away and whatnot. So yeah, it was kind of rough for your boy, you know. Yeah, it kind of you know some some deaths, you know, kind of opened up some bad wounds. It kind of you know left me like really distraught in some areas. Like you know, like I was just. Like going through this, these, these, these uh, major episodes, these, you know, so, uh, so to speak, or uh, more or less, say these really, uh, d uh, these, uh, these uh, phases of just uh, a pure depression. You know, sometimes, you know, I just say, you know, instead of just fucking pulling my teeth out or fucking literally just ripping my own hair off my scalp or some shit like that. I know I'm, I'm probably overselling it here, but. Yeah, I know what I mean, man. That's kind of how some, that can, that's kind of how some shit kind of uh, comes out to be, you know. Like it, it just gets to that point where you just like, man, all this shit just fucking just 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 you know aggravating, you know. People are like just, oh yeah, I meant to say if I do get a little emotional in this video, I do apologize. It's just you know, it, it's just a lot to just you know just just to blow out. I'm, I'm actually. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, this being a reflection video aside, of course, this this also where I kind of, you know, blow off some steam from, you know, keep me from fucking doing the unspeakable sometimes because, you know, that's how some shit be uh, going sometimes, you know. I'm, but I guess, you know, that's just how it is in real life, man. Like, like you're just going to have to, you're just going to have to walk on eggshells, man. You're just, you're going to have to, you know, like, you're going to eat, you're going to have to feed on chum until you can get to, to salmon or to lobster or you know any classy seafood you know you're like you're gonna have to eat chum and you know the more as you uh uh, uh climb your, your way up you know you're gonna finally get yourself to something a little more classical more fancy like salmon or or lobster or something so yeah that's pretty much how life is in a nutshell and i'm pretty much having my fair share of it right now so yeah i, I know it should be like fucking just like in just a fucking puddle of tears right now because you know all, I'm, I'm finally just getting it all out and it's really just opened up really bad wounds but then again like i said before you're gonna have to eat chum before you're gonna you know ascend towards you know lobster so or 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 or, or, or uh, 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 a scrimp or, or a crawfish so you know you just that so i'm looking on that so like you know that's that's reality man you're just gonna have to uh, you're gonna be, you're, you're gonna step in toil, you know, you're just gonna have to get over some shit, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, and I meant to actually, like, do a, like, a later video, more or less discussing all the, all the type of content and, you know, all the origin of all the phrases and all the terminologies and, you know, probably even the origin of my name, but I'm gonna, like, probably give y'all the short one. Or some really corny, silly shit I came up with. But, you know, then again, you know, no one else can write my story for me. I, I can only do that. I mean, I, I mean I'm mean, i a man of critic of accepting criticism. I'm like, that's, you know, that's the way you're going to, that's the only way you're going to get better. And pretty, pretty, and pretty much people uh, I criticize me, rather than be negative or positive, but I still take it in because... You know, you need criticism to, you know, actually be good, you know, to learn from your fallbacks, your, 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 your failures, your, 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 uh, your, your, your foils, you know, it helps, it improves you. Uh, criticism, it helps improve you, you know, or, you know, it, or whatever, you know, it, it, it compliments you because, you know, you can't need compliments. That's, you know, how you kind of build up your ego, you know, it's with compliments. And, you know, again, and like I said, on the other side of the spectrum, uh, criticism that's well I wouldn't go the pussy around say it's hurtful but you know I would say unkindly or or as I call it unbiased criticism about something that's you know not good enough or not great you know I still take that in you know so I take that in uh, I try to improve myself you know with with you know both sides of it the good the the, 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 the good side and the bad you know I still, you know, try to better myself and my content and whatnot. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much how I feel about, you know, all the shit about that now. What was I talking about earlier? Because I was just fucking rambling about how I feel about criticism and, you know, 
how it's not really, you know, bad and, you know, stop being a pussy because, you know, you're a, you're a critic or you're an artist and, you know, that's kind of the line of work you're going to step in, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is the type, this is the type of work you, you're going to step in uh, with criticism or, you know, you're always going to hear some shit that's, that you're not going to like. You're always going to hear shit that you are going to like. But whatever which, man, is you know, it's bettering you in the, in, in the end, you know. Uh, and, you know, it's, it, it builds you up. It, it sets you up, you know, for, you know, how to learn how to accept criticism and how to stand it and whatnot. I mean, you know, because, you know, you can't just, I mean, because, you know, you can't just, uh, a real dedicated artist or whatever, perfectionist. I'm not really a perfectionist myself. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll eventually will get to that point as far as my art, my artistic uh, career may pursue that is if it even lasts long hell that is if it even stay on youtube long enough i there's a whole lot of things i'm you know not crystal clear about y'all but you know that's that like i said that's what life is all about especially if you're as young as i am it's it's all about just you know really finding what you really like about getting your stripes uh getting your mane uh getting your teeth that's that's pretty much what it's all about you're never always going to have an answer for everything nothing is going to be uh, clear the day to you. Sometimes you're just gonna have to just sink your hands in filth to just find, you know, that one thing that's valuable. You're a, a concrete in a rose, you know. Uh, you, you know, despite of all the hardships, despite of you know the position you may be in, you know, you still have to come out as something beautiful. You know, yet you, you still have to come out, you know, shining and whatnot. Like you have to just like like because uh, believe it or not. I'm not, I'm not, believe it or not, I'm not really much, I'm, I'm not really a hostile type of person. I mean, uh, I did a few, I did, I did a few martial arts in uh, my past, my, my past uh, life. Uh, I was kind of at one point, uh, I think about uh, doing those as a full-time career, but, you know, it was just something I just did as a freelance, something I did just, you know, for that time being, you know, you know, the, you know, find my stripes to grow my mane out, you know, uh, you know, the, the catch up my win because that's what Tatsumaki fucking means in my YouTube name. Tatsumaki means tornado. And you know, just like a tornado, you know, I had to you know I had to pick up win, you know, from somewhere. You know, shit just can't happen like that. You know, you gotta you know, you gotta actually, you know, put yourself in a situation if you wanna, you know, come out unstoppable and whatnot, you know, all that. I mean, yeah, I know this this sounds corny as shit, but you know, it it, it helps and that's how I'm still able to, you know, just still just go through all this shit, you know, unscathed. Like, I'm, I'm still here, you know, despite of all this shit <clears throat> and whatnot. That's that's pretty much what I was just saying. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, the origin of my name. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this was more or less about because uh, I was talking about how much uh, people may find it corny. How people was going to fucking, you know... Uh, 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 criticize me for forever the best or the worst but still in all that all that aside you know I still you know I still accept all of it because I just want to because you know it's all about bettering yourself man it's all about building yourself up it's all about you know catching wind and going and like I say man you're always going to have to you're always going to catch yourself in physical alt altercations right if you're, if you are really hostile or you're really not hostile you're if you're a really pacifist and whatnot. So yeah, you're always gonna find yourself in, you know, in, in peril and whatnot. So yeah, that's that's pretty much all it is, man. It's about building you up. It's about, you know, just fucking just just going through the shit and still coming back with like you know, uh just, just coming back, you know, half alive, but still knowing that you just did a major accomplishment. You like you just you, you still you, you you stared down the abyss and the abyss glazed back at you, uh uh, Fre uh, Frederick Nietzsche, um, yeah, I was, I was uh, catching up on some philosophy that that just popped in my head, and you know I'm sort of a, a nihilistic uh, uh, character uh, per se. I, I'm 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 really nihilistic, but not to the extreme. But yeah, I, I am really nihilistic. You know, from the place I've been coming up from, uh, you know, you kind of have to be, or or not have to be, because you know you can still be a better person, which is. Not if it's a nihilist, but, you know, uh, nihilists such as myself or, you know, more so outcasts, not like outcasts of, you know, 
uh, of a uh, of society or whatever outcast of you know uh, of social groups and whatnot. You know that's kind of the uh, reputation we're given. We're you know seen as cry babies or you know we're seen as a hopeless bunch. But you know that's but but the, the world is a living hell. You know that Nietzsche was right. The world is a living hell and. You got to stare down to that abyss, man. You 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 got to stare back down to that abyss. That abyss stares back at you, man. And you're just fucking doing it. Hey, I'm probably just fucking reiterating all this shit. <laughs> yeah, my uh, oral communication still needs a lot of work. I, I've been I've been on YouTube since uh, 2016. Well, technically 2015, but 2016 technically is where I start. Uh, uh, you know, I've been doing this for a while, but, or 2017, I always forget. <laughs> I'm supposed to be knowing this shit. I've been doing it this long. But, uh, you know, I still, you know, gotta find my place on YouTube. I, uh, I hate to doubt myself, but if I do make it, it's gonna, it's, it's really gonna be a snowball's chance in hell. But you know what? Effort is effort. You still make it. You still have, you're still tough. You tussle. You know, that's just pretty much how I'd be feeling and whatnot. Um, yeah, uh, more or less that out the way, you know, about my, uh, you know, how I feel about, you know, life in general. I'm dialistic. I, you know, I'm, uh, I'm a little preachy sometimes, although sometimes I just really just want to chill out. I, uh, I mean, it's good. You know, social commentary is fine, but, you know, when it's hand-fisted or, you know, it's pretentious, then, you know, that's, that, that's where, you know, I just... Talk to the hand, uh, Terminator, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Hey, you gotta pay for those. Talk to the hand. That's pretty much how I kind of feel about some shit. Like I just like 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 it's good, you know, to be taught because you know you you never stop learning after you leave school or, or anything like that you always learn it. Whatever it be, you know, like hands-on academic education or you know, uh, 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 you know, experience or common sense. You know that you know that. And whatnot, like you're always, you're, you're always gonna, you're, you're always learning. You're, 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 everyone's learning experience, myself included. It's, you know, it's always infinite. You're always filling your fucking head up with knowledge of any caliber, right? be academic or, or philosophical or social commentary or common sense. You know, it's just, it's just a, you know, it's just a, a vortex, you know, it just takes in everything. But, you know, sometimes you got to spill some shit you don't need and, that's kind of one point in the life that I'm on where I got just to spell some shit out, you know, just, you know, spell some shit out of my head, you know, just keep it cleansed, you know, just push forward because that's, that's all, that's, 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 that's all it is about. That's what life is always about. It's not always about going back, it's about going forward. Like, uh, I have relatives, I love them to death, I have friends back at home, I have everyone, I love them to death and I, and I, like, I would literally just go to hell and back for them. But where David is at right now, it's not really a spot that I would uh, particularly would want, would want to stay in for the rest of my life or for long, you know. So I just got to keep going forward. Uh, obviously, I'm not, I'm not going to keep the... I'm obviously keeping <laughs> the states, uh, you know, uh, fucking... I'm, you know, I'm also keeping the states, you know, as discreet as possible. But I bet y'all can tell from my uh, my pattern speech and you know the the previous video I did with Rosalie Anthony uh, uh, that I did uh, like uh, like last year ago where we started uh, doing the Buzzfeed questions. She pretty much, you know, already said we go we're pretty much in college at the same time, and you know, and you know, it was just that was you know, so she. So you can kind of, you know, put two and two together and tell, you know, where I'm at and, you know, what's going, what's really going on that I'm not fully telling about y'all because I'm a really, you know, secretive, I'm a really, you know, enigma type kind of guy. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm a any type of guy, I guess. <laughs> but y'all yeah, can probably tell from the video, well, not everything, but, you know, like multiple personalities, multiple scenarios, multiple you know, attitudes and attributes and, you know, things going on. Actually, at one point, I actually wanted to do a, a I wanted to actually keep my face, uh, like, concealed when I first started YouTube. I wanted, you know, do a big face reveal, you know, at one point, you know, keep my face covered and whatnot. I, 
I wanted to do like I wanted to do something like that in the past, but you know, my very first video, uh, the six seconds review I did, like a, like two years ago. Yeah, two years ago, give or take. <laughs> I have keen memory, but I'm not really big on it. On, on dates sometimes, sometimes just slip from my mind. But yeah, from that video, you know, uh, I wanted to keep my face covered or, you know, I didn't want to show my face, but you know, I'm not really big on editing like that. I'm, I'm not really big on editing. I actually kind of got someone else to do half of my editing for my uh, past two videos I did like a while back to do that for me. And, you know, I didn't have any real, uh, you know, clothing or gear or anything to keep my face concealed or covered so i was like fuck it i don't see why now I, I, i'll be uh, i'll be you know i said i'm not gonna do this shit fuck it i want to do a face reveal i always found always always found face reveals to be exciting you know I, like like the the the, the mystery that the 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 the, 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 the hidden truth the the whatnot of face reveals it really you know i really got invested into it and whatnot and what and and, and so to speak it, it really it really it puts a lot you know uh, of emphasis on you know uh, the YouTuber, the artist. Because believe it or not, most YouTubers are artists, especially that little uh, that little potential that been going out <laughs> YouTube hate creator. So yeah, you know we're artists. You know, like this is believe it or not, but YouTube is a form of art, uh, video expression, or whatever people be having drawn tutorials or let's plays. Uh, you know. Uh, 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 bedazzling, you know, their their skill in video games and whatnot, you know, their talent, their their, their wide variety and whatnot, you know. That, so yeah, the, uh, YouTube and most of the videos that be, be getting pumped on YouTube is a form of art. The, uh, cinematography is a form of art, technically. Yes, it is. Uh, I'm 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 currently at pursuing actually multiple art. Uh, 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 multiple art concepts and genres uh mostly uh hands-on illustration and uh, uh comic book design and if anyone you know of course checked out my deviant art account they would have known that you know uh, i did those little uh kind of those uh those little short uh, uh comic panels those little one page uh, uh comedy jumps of uh the recent character i made the ex-sheriff who's a alien who's a who, who's a alien great white great green shark from saturn who's a sheriff and and whatnot <laughs> i pretty much just let my fucking imagination just spill out when i made that whole character and that whole concept and you know i'm really i'm actually really proud of it i may have you know overexerted it but you know santa shark himself is a spoof of you know of a of, uh, you know strong 90s and 80s you know war heroes yeah I got guns and guns. You're one ugly motherfucker. You know, all that Duke Nukem and Phoenix Wright, Master Chief, Doom Guy. You know, uh, Mason, you know, he's a he's uh, Booker D. Wade, you can count him too. You know, he's a big spoof of all those type of characters. He's a spoof of, you know, old 90s characters like Ninja Turtles or or uh, uh, Ninja Turtles and, um, uh, shit, uh, uh, Ninja Turtles and uh, uh, Biker Mice. I, I kind of had that on the mind when I was thinking about Saturn Shark, Biker Mice and Ninja Turtles and and and, and Mummies Alive and and GI Joe and uh and, and Transformers. You know, I was I was looking at a lot of uh, '90s cartoons when I was looking at it. Uh, I, I'm a I'm a retro type of guy, especially when it comes to uh, media. In certain cases, I mean, like some of them, of course, is like so cringy. It's it's good, or some of them is just really good, or it's just you know just hella cringy like the original x-men cartoon was great the the, the 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 art direction on that cartoon was fucking spot on but admittedly it had it's just times it just made me want to fucking just laugh my fucking uh, stomach out when i heard some of the just really just awkward lines and and and, and, and voice acting and and, and, and moments in it i mean you know uh you know late 2000 era cartoons they ain't free from it of course but you know it, it is what it is <laughs> you know we we had our you know we we had our you know our bad cartoons we had our totally spies we had our our uh shit we had our batmans the brave and the bold we had our uh naruto's you know just really just kind of cringy but 
you know, still awesome, except for Naruto. You know, fuck Naruto, but I didn't come here for that. I just, I just came here, you know, to give a point across. Uh, yeah, Santa Shark uh, was the character I made uh, of these short little one-page panel comics that I posted on DeviantArt uh, that y'all can check out. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, of course, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna pursue, you know, comic books. I'm actually gonna do that. I'm actually gonna pursue that, you know, in the future, and I know I will, but. For for now on, I just I, I want to more so uh, uh, make a I want to make more so, more so a gag character first before anything else. You know, I just I, I just want to do a small gag character. You know, so I can just get it all out. You know, the, I, I more or less want to make my own Lobo. You know, Deadpool s character to my uh, fictional uh, uh, manga uh, universe that I'm making or. Technically, video games, because I'm in the future. I'm kind of thinking about developing uh, video games. Me myself, personally, now, because I'm not big on that for real. But probably, you know, hook up with people who know what they're doing. Uh, I know. I know for a fact. I'm, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna completely uh, uh, pursue a, a, a pseudo, uh, a pseudo anime, pseudo manga. Uh, despite you know, I'm not really big on anime as I used to be. Or Technically, I kind of never was, for real, for real. I mean, you know, I watched it here and there sparingly. Like, I fucking, like, would get, like, one episode of something and, you know, I'll never fucking see that anime again. Or, you know, it would take me, like, three years just to go back to it to finish it. Or, you know, it might take me, like, a century to finish it. You know, if I found something that's actually good about it. It's my computer done. I don't know, it's plugged up. It's probably a message. Anyway, uh... Yeah, there's a lot of technical difficulties going on. I know that the, the fucking light, light, the lighting on this camera is like really shoddy. You know, I'm kind of not rolling on a uh, 20s right now. Obviously, I'm, I'm just doing the best I can. This, I just really like doing these videos. I really like, you know, just, just, just putting out anything that comes out my head and just putting them out in these videos. Cause I, not only do I feel like it's a stress relief from all the shit that's. That, that, that be going on in my life will be going on right now. But in general, like I said before, uh, this is, you know, video uh, creation, all this, it is a form of art. And I pretty much in the future want to do every uh, aspect of it and whatnot. Like, I don't know, like a, a couple of months from now, I eventually will get to a full length comic book series. But for now, uh, I just wanted to start small before, you know, I can build up. You know, I, 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 I want to start, you know, from underground before I can get to a skyscraper. Yeah, just just a really high use of uh, analogies in this video. Uh, I don't know, this, it, it's, it's whatever, I guess. I, or I guess that's just, you know, the only way I can, you know, get my, uh, you know, get what I'm saying uh, through y'all, you know. It, that's just the best way I can do it. That's, or this is, you know, my type of jargon, that's how I speak and whatnot, and, what, and, 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 and so to speak. Uh, <clears throat> mm. Let's see. Yeah, I, yeah. More or less, I'm gonna start with just one page just in, of uh, Saturn Shark. Uh, maybe eventually, I actually, kind of want to do a full, a full length uh, comic strip of uh, Saturn Shark in the future. Uh, like, I probably might like get it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat thinking about uh, getting in newspapers. That is, if you know, if anyone ever picks me up, uh, the Pittsburgh Gazette or New York Times or. The Washington Post, you know, whatever, you know, big time newspaper uh, company might pick me up. Uh, I'm just hoping I write, right from one day, I hope that may happen or uh, I'm not really looking at it. I mean, maybe because perhaps uh, that would be nice too, or maybe I'm just, or, or maybe I'm just really, uh, uh, I'm just overexert my expectations or, or whatever. It's, it, it's, it just, it's whatever. It's, it goes one way or another. It it really doesn't depend. It's like a, a snow day in July. It probably might. It's it's highly improbable, but it would be nice to, I guess. Or if I can't get into any newspaper publications, then it would be good to you know like probably get into some websites or you know or or online uh, website publications or something. Or you know just anyway, someone pick it up. Uh, you know. It's just good to you know, just know that you know, 
you know, some people respect, you know, young creators and, and young artists and young illustrators, you know, coming out the woodwork. Uh, it, it, it'd be really, it'd be, it, it'll be really generous. Uh, yeah, not, not trying to exert my expectations, but that's pretty much how I kind of feel about uh, if I, you know, ever do consider uh, getting a ex sheriff into, uh, if I ever think about getting ex sheriff into, um, you know, in the newspapers and whatnot. <clears throat> and it, it just, uh, I'll cross that boat when it gets there. I'll cross that, bri that bridge when I get there, I guess. Um, let's see. Uh, I guess that's all about the way of, you know, my current uh, or artistic career. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I know if anyone who ever been already been on my DVR account, you know, I've, I have like a lot of uh, 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 photo based uh, uh, photography uh, uh, based art pieces. Yeah, because that's why in the past, like, since I was, like, eight, I always wanted to be a photographer, but, you know, my interest, well, not actually six, actually, it was even farther than that, I, I always wanted to be a photographer, but, it, you know, I, I, it didn't work out, but, you know, I, you know, you know, as the older I got, you know, I kind of realized, you know, photography is a form of art, so I may, I may do that more in the future, or I may, pick that up as as a minor maybe or I may do that as a freelance job or whatnot. Like I might like go to Peter Parker out and like try to find work at a at a at a newspaper job or something at a, a journalistic, a really journalistic uh a uh, a job, you know. Like I may be like they might put me on some beats or they might uh shoot me off some places to report. We we never know. We cross that bridge when we get there. Or I may just only just shoot photos for the sake of, uh, you know, artistic expression for artistic property. Uh, to more elaborate on it, uh, I kind of also wanted to pick up Peyton, uh, I'm, and I know, uh, and I know I'm going to eventually find my, my way into it. But uh, right now, yeah, I'm mostly just doing photography and uh, 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 photography and uh, hands-on illustration, uh, uh, pencils, tracing, contour. And whatnot. That, that's just pretty much uh, uh, more or less the big ones that I'm doing right now currently. Uh, yeah, people, please stick with me. I know the the the, the I know the, the 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 lighting of the camera because I'm literally shooting it from my computer. It's kind of uh, you know shifty and whatnot. <clears throat> mm. uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much all I gotta say about you know what my future hobby may be in the future. I mean. Yeah, I know I'm going to stick around, you know, if I actually do get big or, you know, if I actually do, you know, get something in the future, like, you know, or hell, even if, you know, if one of my works in the future, uh, such as Zulu 10, you know, uh, uh, gets picked up, you know, by, a, you know, gets picked up by a, some animation studio that may, may want to do a TV show out of it, like uh, Ruby or Avatar The Last Airbender or Dragon Prince. Or uh, 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 Gen Lock that's coming out, uh, you know, if, you know, if any, you know, some really, uh, you know, uh, uh, animation studio may want to pick up my work to do a, a series out of it. That would be nice. And actually, I, I kind of want to, uh, you know, I, I'm actually kind of expecting it myself, you know, and whatnot. <laughs> so yeah, it goes, it, it, it goes, it, it goes any other way. It, like I said, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> and what um let's see uh and then i guess i guess we can move on to, uh more or less how i felt how i've been feeling and you know how shit been going on and whatnot uh more or less when i you know got to this new setting that y'all see behind you this new backdrop uh you already know you know uh i'm gonna have finally some more space you know not a lot of rubbish would be in the background you know i'll be able to shoot you know a video i'll be able to shoot these videos more cl uh, uh, uh cleaner there'll be more uh, space you know it'll be less junk in the in, in the in the uh in the background that won't uh disrupt the foreground so yeah you know it's just it's just finally good i got my own space so i can finally you know frequently shoot videos without any discourage discourage season uh uh uh, uh discourages uh hold on i guess these <laughs> yeah, no, that was fucking awkward. But yeah, you know, so y'all wouldn't be, you know, taking off from, 
you know, the shit in the background so you wouldn't be discouraged and whatnot. So, yeah, I'm just glad I just got this new space, this new backdrop, this new setting in the back. Uh, hmm. How I feel about what well, I was going through, through uh, 2018. Uh, admittedly, uh, I'm not, I'm not even sure to code it, y'all. Uh, um, like I said before, you know, there's still a lot of shit that I'm not sure about. You know, I'm still trading, you know, life, you know, see what's going on, you know, working out the bugs and whatnot. And, you know, I, you know, for a while I was feeling, you know, before I got here, you know, I, I you know, kind of had some, um, some, some, uh, mood issues, you know, some things were, you know, kind of bugging me here and there, you know, anxiety and, you know, move from different places and another and, and getting out of school and whatnot, you know, all types of shit, you know. Uh, finish up my community, uh, my community hours before, you know, I can transition and whatnot, you know, there's a lot of shit going on, you know, just having to shake a, shake, you know, a few hands, you know, uh, shake a few hands, took a few pictures, you know, just, you know, to get to where I am right now, you know, uh, had to put on a smile, you know, like, like I said, to get up in the morning, look in the mirror and just put a smile on, you know, just, so, you know, I can just, you know, get it, you know, get, you know, uh, cer uh, certainties, you know, so, you know, people may, uh, you know, find that I may be a, a interesting individual. So, you know, you know, I can put myself in more uh, uh, higher advantages and, and uh, uh, situations. So, you know, I, I can, you know, pull myself upwards, you know, so I can, you know, make a name for myself, you know, stick around, uh, employment probably, uh uh, uh, getting to some, you know, new places here and there, you know, uh, uh, wipe my, uh, horizon to opportunities and whatnot, you know, it, it's, it's a, it's a whole lot of shit, so, yeah, from that, I've been, uh, have some, some really broad anxiety, and actually, I've been facing it for a while since, like, I don't know, like, 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 I can, like, expect it from, like, I don't know, the, like, uh, I guess my sophomore year of high school, I guess, it, it could date all the way back, from there, but I think it's starting to become more apparent my senior year of high school, my, my, my crippling uh, depression, uh, uh, my, my uh, anxiety, my uh, moody behavior and whatnot, my uh, really uh, aloof attitude and whatnot, you know, it, you know, started to reach its peak during, you know, my senior year and whatnot. Uh, you know, I'm still trying to get over it, you know, sometimes you kind of live with this shit, and sometimes, you know, it's just you know, it just goes away. I mean, I already know what I want to do. I already know what I want to pursue. Uh, like, I kept rambling earlier in the video. I wanted to, you know, major in art. You know, I actually want to, you know, focus on comic books, illustration. You know, things really media-wise, comic books, uh, video games, uh, probably even uh, television uh, uh, broadcasting. You know, you know, animation studios like Rooster Teeth uh, actually... Really, actually, like where they got in uh, Rooster Teeth, they actually like really just fucking climbed themselves to the top of Red versus Blue and Camp Camp and 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 and, and Nomad Nomad of Nowhere, if I'm pronouncing them right, or even that just awkward looking Laser Team movie that no one saw or Ruby. I mean, I, I kind of like for what they did for themselves. They were really just really minuscule, you know, company. Just you know. Uh, making a name for himself, you know, they, they climbing up the pipe, they're, they're like Jack on the stalk, they just, you know, climbing up, they're, you know, getting there, and that's, and I can't, and, and me being an aspiring artist and songwriter, yeah, probably left that out, but yeah, uh, there's a lot of shit I actually want to do, for real, for real, I want to do a whole lot of things, and one of them, of course, is songwriting, uh, yeah, I know, I already know, yeah, I pretty much picked that up in my earlier video about, the whole, uh, my condolences to, uh, Mac Miller, you know, he inspired me to, you know, for a while in, in the position I was at, at a, at a moment, you know, he kind of got me into writing raps and, and, and music and whatnot. He kind of, you know, he kind of put, you know, it, it kind of gave me a push to do that, you know? So yeah, you know, there's a whole lot of shit I actually want to do. There's a whole lot of shit that I'm doing right now. Uh, and you know, that's, that's just how my situation is right now. And, you know, despite of wanting to do everything, I still don't know, you know, where I'm going. Like, 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 I know what I want to do. I know what I'm pursuing. And I know what my career is. And, and my job, my occupation. I know what I'm looking forward to. 
but you know, I still don't know where I'm going. You know, you know, you, you feel me? You know what I'm, what I'm getting with it? Like, I know what I'm doing. Like, I fucking have my whole life played out. Uh, I'm, I'm going to Ty Kubo route because ever since he was in elementary school, he confirmed himself that he always wanted to, uh, he always wanted to, uh, you know, be a manga artist. Like, like I'm on that position. Like, I know what I want to be. I know what I want to do. I know what I want to pursue. But, yeah, my voice is going out. Uh, I know I want to pursue and whatnot, but, you know, I still don't know where I'm going. I know what I want to do, but I don't know where I'm going. That's pretty much what I always be having on, my, on the brain, you know, sometimes. I know what I want to do. I know what my career, I want my career to be. I know what my lifetime goal is, I, or at least I, I know what I want it to be and whatnot. I already know, I already know, you know, what I want to do with it. I already know what sale I want to take, but I still don't exactly know where I'm going with it, you know. Uh, not everything's written to me. Not everything's written to me. You know, uh, everything's step by step. You know what? You know what I'm saying? Y'all feel me? When I say that. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much how I'm feeling right now. You know, I'm still trying to get over a whole lot of shit. Uh, you know, finally, just, uh, you know, fucking just pull myself up. You know, fucking, you know, you know, put a little more effort to it. You know, I mean. <laughs> I know this may sound a bit egotistic, like, yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes you gotta try, but when I mean, you know things is, you know, like, clear in your fucking face, like, it's, like, really obtainable, you know, you, like, you're to the point where, like, you know, like, well, why the fuck do I even need to try for it's sitting right in front of me? I don't, I don't really have to do shit anymore. I can just easily just go out, reach it. But, you know, again, to the whole life scenario, it's not as easy as that. And there are certain... Uh, things, you know, you're just going to have to, you know, uh, uh, put some uh, elbow grease into some things you're just going to actually have to do and, you know, work out, you know, everything won't just come easy like shoes, like and laces, you know, uh, you know, everything, you know, got to, everything has steps and steps to it, you know, you actually sometimes have to try and whatnot, you know, get some help and whatnot, you know, you just got to push yourself forward, you know what I'm saying? And that's pretty much what, what I'm trying to get through. Well, in this video, <clears throat> uh, yeah, so pretty much that's my situation right now. Uh, I know where I'm going, but you know, everything is you know kind of shaky right now, like, not everything is fucking written to me. And you know, your destiny is for you to uh, your uh, destiny or anyone's for that, you know, destiny is for you to you know fucking write for yourself. You know, everything is written for you, and whatnot. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know. You, you, you got to trade your own path. You got to do what you got to do. You got to lay the cement down. You got to just, you got to let it, uh, you got to let it soak. You got to let it dry. And when it's hard enough, you can walk through it. It's like walking the park. It's, it's, it's like pulling a, it's like pulling a cork out of a bottle. A shooting fish in a barrel. But yeah, you know, that, that's pretty much how it is. You know, that's how I'm feeling right now. Uh, I honestly, I honestly actually kind of want to, you know, you know, push forward with this, you know, like, no, no real man, you know, there, there's two things, well, actually, there's a couple, there's, uh, there's, there's actually, uh, like, uh, like, there's a, a lot of things a man can't live without in this world, and that is fucking just feeling like shit, emotionally, being poor, not having your own space, you know, it, you know, a, a car, you know, and settling down and shit, you know, shit like that. There's just a few things, you know, no man can't settle, uh, can't just, can't uh, uh, live without, you know. That's just, that's just, it's just how, that's just how shit is, man. That's, that's how things just work out. And no, it's, uh, what the, the whole term, you know, who made this stuff? No, that's kind of what life is. That's, that's how shit always has been since you know, dee, 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 Egypt and all that. That's kind of how shit I have always been. Since they've been writing on leaves, now we're finally writing on paper. You know, since, you know, all they were using sundials and now we're using clocks and, and, and phones to determine time and tell us our schedules and shit. But yeah, I know I may be <laughs> rambling, but y'all get the picture, you know. Uh, let's see. Uh, um... Honestly, I think uh, 2018, like I promised in my uh, in my uh, um, <laughs> in my in my March video I did. Uh, so this is March video I made. I probably said it before, like um, 
you know, like, you know, like this is so this is March, like people fucking dropping it left and right. But, you know, as I also promised in that video, you know, I would, I would come out for Ocean of Content last year and, you know, I, I did it. I, 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 I got it out. You know, some people, you know, I kind of was in a position where I'm like, yeah, you know, I finally made a like, like two YouTube videos. Uh, you know, they didn't get much views, but, you know, progress is progress. You got to start from somewhere. And by the time I made those videos, I'm like, man, why don't I waste my time for it? I won't. I'm about to shit on YouTube, but you know, uh, honestly, actually did have some encouragement to keep pushing, you know, videos and shit out. Like, and you know, I came to the realization that, you know, like, yeah, yeah, sure, like, yeah, one day I would like some notor notoriety, like that. That's fine. I'm, I'm an artist. That's what we're all about. We're all about nor notoriety. No notor notoriety. We're all about, you know, getting our work out. We're all about, you know, about all that stuff. So yeah, I would like to have that in the future. And, you know, I just got that, that just that one touch, ding, you know, just, just keep on doing shit, you know. And that's why I just made, like, thousands of videos, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> it's like 97, but, you know, I'm probably just pushing, pushing it. But, yeah, y'all get it. Um, oh, uh, shit. Uh, so, yeah, I guess that's that's the end of it. Uh, yeah, uh, 2018, as, as far as my... Uh, my YouTube career has gone. It was it was actually pretty good, you know. I finally made videos I like, you know. I finally got my artistic expression out and whatnot. It was it was a great year. I actually did feel relieved, you know. I actually did feel proud about myself. I mean, I of course you're gonna have ego. That's fine, but you know, I actually did feel like you know I could fucking rule the world. I was like King Kong in this bitch. Like you just throw me in a you you throw me in an uncharted environment. Like ass naked into an uncharted environment. Like no, nope, nothing but just the skin on my back. And you know, like a week or so, I'll come back with a fucking lion outfit or a, or a crab punching gloves or or I made a fucking scale out of out of sticks or you know I got fucking two big ass jugs of a water made out of twigs and baboon skin or some shit, you know, I, 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 you know, I just went in, I did the shit, like, you know, some people expected the less of me, but, you know, I still went in head first, and I came out the bitch, like, as fucking Tarzan, like, I was fucking the king of the jungle, no one could really just rock with me, that's pretty much how I was kind of feeling at one point, despite not really getting anywhere on the totem pole of YouTube, because, you know, you're kind of, you're going to have to have ego, that's, Kinda the only thing that pushes you to keep living, you know, for real, for real, for real. And but then on the on the other side, you know, not everything can be handed to you. You kinda have to, you know, work for some shit. Things just won't be just fucking just deliver you on a silver platter. You're gonna have to work for it. But that's pretty much how I felt about it. like, you know, I finally got it all out. You know, I've been you know, I I, I you know, finally just, you know, made more, you know, I made videos here and there. I uh, you know, just Got in the clubs, you know, I just, you know, I, I was actually a, at some points felt relieved. And, you know, sometimes, you know, it's just a little escapism from my, uh, from my, uh, moderate depression and my, uh, <clears throat> and my, uh, intense anxiety that I'm, uh, kind of going through. It's, you know, it, it's, it's a rabbit hole. It brings me right into Wonderland. And, you know, sometimes you're just going to have to pop out, and, you know, smell the coffee. It, it's just good, you know, to hear there and there. You know, here and there and that. You know, to know that, to do that, to be here and there sometimes, you know. <clears throat> uh, honestly, uh, one thing that kind of shook me the most about 2018, and, you know, I pretty much already covered this, like, like fucking 10 minutes into this video, uh, it was, uh, well, yeah, it was a lot of celebrity deaths, you know. A lot of them, you know, kind of really did hit hit me, you know, a lot, you know, a lot of familiar faces, even, you know, people I've even shook hands with, you know, people I haven't even known from a can of corn, you know, celebrities, people I even, uh, or people I, I, I know of, but I don't see often, you know, just, you know, dropping it, you know, it just, it, it kind of started becoming, you know, too much. And, you know, they, you know, people may bring up that excuse, like, well, that's how it is to grow up. Well, yeah, yeah I know that. Thanks for uh, uh, stating out the obvious, but you know, 
when it becomes increasingly clear to the point where it just kind of becomes irritable, it just, it's just sometimes you just don't want to fucking deal with that shit. Like, you just want to find a fucking door just to walk out of. You just want to go the Dumbo route and just fucking, your ears just fucking turn into wings and fly away from all that shit. Is that's that's how it kind of how it is sometimes, man. But you know, sometimes you just have to go through it. A rose and concrete, all the turmoil, all the turmoil and shit. You know, that's that's you know ahead, man. You're just gonna have to sprout out if it's there's something beautiful. You're just gonna have to, you know, you're gonna have to, you know, come out at something. <laughs> I keep rambling the same shit over and over again, but you know, that's that's just the only way I'm gonna get my point across. You know, this this is. Aside from, you know, the other conventional meanings I do, like drawing or even doing some exercise here and there or, you know, listening to music or, you know, talking to, to relatives or friends about, you know, what's going on and whatnot and, you know, going to clubs, he's, he's distressed, you know, sometimes, uh, uh, you know, the conventional methods aside, you know, it's just, you know, it's just still good to, you know, just you know, sometimes just get on uh, YouTube sometimes and just, you know, just get shit out, man. Just uh, blow some steam out your chest like a, like a choo-choo train. Just shit just blows right out and just keep going forward. You know, that's just how it feels, man. That's that. I feel like I feel like this is the best way to do it, YouTube. It's, it's one of the many best ways to do it. Just, you know, to blow shit out and just keep going, just gun right through shit. You know, that's, that's just the best way to do it. That's just how I feel. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I was actually pretty flabbergasted when I heard, uh, Stephen Hawking's dad, and I was like, uh, <laughs> I was like, damn, like, I thought nothing would get to him, I mean, this man is literally fucking walking death, I mean, I mean, his death didn't, you know, shook me the way as, you know, like, Mac Miller's did, or, or, you know, uh, even still, uh, uh, Stan Lee or even uh, Steven Hillenberg, those those actually kind of did uh, bother me, and and uh, XX Tentacion has kind of bothered me, but still not in the same way as you know Mac Miller or uh, you know uh, as Mac Miller or Stan Lee, because I pretty much grew up with Stan Lee, and and, and Mac Miller is and Mac Miller is uh, pretty much like I said before, inspired me to to, to write music. Uh, you know, I pretty much, like, owned every album he had at one point. You know, like, it's, like he was, you know, a musician for real, for real, you know. Uh, Macadelic, uh, Kids, Kicking Incredible Dope Shit, uh, uh, Blue Sad Park, um, uh, Swim Pools, The Great Feminine. You know, those, it was really, you know, those those uh, albums in general, you know, they... They, they, they just really stuck with me, man. It was just really, really good. It was really good mixtapes or albums uh, and whatnot. And actually, I kind of really felt like uh, Meg Miller kind of, you know, really, really actually outdone himself with, uh, mm, outdone himself with a great phenomenon. Actually, that was, I wouldn't say that's one of my favorite albums of all time, but I, I felt like, you know, his his real musical uh, talents, his, his, uh, his real musical charm and, 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 and and his character, I feel like, you know, it really started to arose with that album and, you know, made me more apparent uh, and, and, you know, of his musical career and what he was capable of. He could play multiple instruments. He could sing. He, uh, if I'm pretty sure he taught himself how to play the piano. He, he played the guitar a few times, so I'm pretty sure. He played the flute. He played the drums. Uh, it, and, you know, amongst other things, I, if I'm pretty sure, I, I, I've stuck around with Mac Miller here and there. Uh, he wrote his own songs here and there. He made his own beats. You know, he just, he's a, he's a real musician, just like Prince. He's, they're, they're, he, they're real, real musicians. I'm not comparing them to both of them, because I already know, y'all fucking got your fucking USP tacticals and your uh, scorpions and your fucking shoddy's ready to fucking blow me away right now what I said I'm not comparing it to because you know some people always jump to fucking conclusions because you know some people are like really fucking soft they're really soft skinned and no, I'm not comparing it to I'm just saying I just I just I I, I like them I, I I can't when I hit my see real musical talent I can't just I, there's no way I can just finally turn a blind eye because you know you got talent you 
can play multiple instruments, you can sing, you can rap. Uh, Prince technically kind of did some freestyles. Believe it or not, if you heard some of his, or, you know, older songs, you know, back in the day and shit like that from the 80s and all that. So, yeah, admittedly, yeah, he, you know, did uh, do some lyricism here and there. So, yeah, wrote their own songs. So, yeah, I got to, you know, I, I got to call a talent when I see it. And that's how pretty much I feel about Mac Miller. Aside from being just pretty much an exceptional artist, exceptional uh, uh, rapper, Mac Miller, I just see that he's just like really skilled in multiple tasks and most multiple musical performances and whatnot. So I can't say I turn a blind eye uh, and whatnot. <clears throat> yes, uh, me obviously rambling more about Mac Miller. Obviously, that kind of you know really bucked me out the most this year. Uh, Stan Lee, you know, I pretty much grew up the man. You know, uh, he pretty much created one of the most, he pretty much created one of the longest lines and one of the most inspirational characters in fiction. Uh, Spider-Man being one of them, he's pretty much one of my favorite characters of all time. Uh, he's pretty much my favorite superhero in general. Uh, you know, it really, it, it, he kind of opened us, Spider-Man in particular, and yeah, Stan Lee. Uh, you know, they really opened my horizon to comic books and whatnot, and you know, when I just saw him, you know, just, it, I just saw the same way about him, about Stephen Hawkins, you know, like, you know, they just fucking just went through everything, you know, like, they just, like, 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 Stan Lee looked like the type of dude who fucking outlived me, like, <laughs> Stan Lee looked like the type of guy who could fucking outlive me, and, you know, it was really fucking tragic, and really unfortunate and unexpected when I heard that he, that he died. And, you know, he cre like I, again, I said, he created, you know, the most iconic characters in fiction and that people will, will, will ever uh, treasure from times to become, in, at the times to come. And, you know, and always, you know, always made a joke like, well, even Stan Lee would outlive me one day. He's older than me. Like, it was always a joke. And, you know, it, when that joke, you know, just kind of, you know, you know, and when it, uh, you know, it does a, a, a 180 when it does the opposite. It's just, you know, it just really just upset at me. Just, it, it really just, I, I got really emotional about, about you know, his passing. Uh, so, yeah, just rest in peace, uh, Stanley. Uh, you know, he, he contributed a lot and, and, and God rest his soul because, you know, it is what it is. That's, that's pretty much all I got to say about uh, Stanley's part. Uh uh, XX Tentacion, XXX Tentacion. Um, uh, personally, I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. Uh, uh, personally, I, I was never a big fan of XX Tentacion. I'm, I'm not even going to hide it because he died. So that means, you know, I'm supposed to, you know, just pity him. I mean, of course, I, I, I really do pity XXX Tentacion and whatnot. Like, it was really tragic and unfortunate, and I feel like he died too soon. But I'm not going to sit here and say that, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, uh, I'm not, not going to act like I was a, a big-time fan and, and, and whatnot. You know, it, it was what it was. I mean, I really did, you know, felt, felt kind of a sort of way about him dying. I mean, he was too young, and, you know, he was... You know, finally making moves in his rap career, just like Mac Miller finally going to make some moves in their careers, the rap careers, you know. He's ready to turn over a new leaf, and then the next day, you know, it, he croaked. I mean, it was just, it was just, it, it was something else. It, it it was really unfortunate, and, you know, it, it just, it starts to become really tired somehow, you know. You know, young, you know, young, uh, uh. Is a young, uh, 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 diaspora or African-American males Reverend Witch, because I'm pretty sure he was Jamaican descent. Uh, uh, as, uh, I think, I'm pretty sure Exitation had some Jamaican descent, or he was. Uh, I may be wrong, or or whatever. I'm not, I'm not big. Like, again, I'm not really big on him, but I do know, you know, a bit about the situation, what happened, and, you know, like, it, it's just, it's just, it, it just really fucking pains me, like, every day, just how, you know, you know, young African-American males, uh, diaspora, or even Afro people of Afro descent, you know, of, of any caliber, of any race, of any tradition, of any country, just, you know, dying over, you know, just dying left and right from just minding a fucking business. Hell, uh, earlier, uh, like, 
give or take last week, if I'm pretty sure, uh, there was a mass shooting with, uh, there was a mass shooting in, in California with a lot of, uh, where a lot of uh, uh, African Americans got killed, and you know, I, you know, at first I just played, you know, I, you know, it's just all these mass shootings, and you know, you know, young African American males or even females, of course, you know, we're we're, we're, we're all one culture, you know, that's that's how pretty much I feel. Uh, I mean, I, I can see why a whole lot of people debate, you know, why a lot of people from Af from from America doesn't like Africans or. Haitians don't like blacks or Haitians don't like Jamaicans or all that. I, I can, I understand it, but honestly, I kind of find it a little silly. I'm like, we're, we're technically, you know, we're still technically diaspora. You know, we got to stick out with each other. We're still a, a, a Negroid, a, a, a Negroid. You know, we still got to, you know, stick out with each other. Like, you know, this, this is only us, you know, we still got to stick out with it. I mean... You know, I, I really actually don't have a problem with a lot of people, you know, outside of, you know, diaspora or, you know, they, I didn't get anyone outside of, you know, African-American uh, uh, lineage. Well, of course, because I am, but, you know, okay, you know, anyone who's black who's not African-American, I actually have no problem with it. I mean, you know, with all these crazy uh, uh, racist white nationalists filling their heads up about, you know, how shitty and, and whatnot we are, you know, I, I know it. I know it. It's apparent. It's present. I know it. But then again, I'm. I, then again, I got. Then again, I'm saying. You know, at the end of the day, yeah, sure, whatever. I guess that's that's a reason to get incited to you know, like you know, to find people you can trust and whatnot. But then again, I'm like, at the end of the day, man, we're all we we're all niggas, man. That's you know, we're we're all black. We're we're you know, we're all African American. That's pretty much where, where that, that's pretty much. Where all of it, you know, narrows down to at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I see why, I see where the complaints come from, but honestly, I, it doesn't bother me as much as you know. It doesn't bother me as much as anyone else, cause you know it is what it is. Like yeah, sure, I get it. You know, if misconceptions and misleading from you know uh, racist white people in Africa, you know, uh, educating and you know encouraging you know Africans to hate diaspora for being lazy and you know and 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 not having any real origin and all that i understand and that, that would be a reason to you know to repel against that but then again i'm saying but in it but when when you narrow down to it and in the day we're all african-american we're all afro descent we're all negroid you know we all got to stick to each other like you know it's you know there's there, there's more of us than there's you know than there's anyone else, you know, we gotta stick with each other. And, you know, that brings me right back to XX Tentacion and whatnot. Like, you know, if you just slit your, I'm maybe going back to it. You know, when you slit your wrist, man, you bleed all the same. If I slit someone who's African's wrist, their blood would be red, mine would be red, someone's Jamaican's would be red. Uh, someone who's Haitian's is gonna be red. Someone from the Caribbean's would be red. Someone from uh, Brazil would be red. And that's what really matters, you know. We still got the same nose, same hair, same complexion, same, you know, lips, uh, facial structure, body structure. You know, that's what it really narrows down to. So, yeah, I don't know. Shit like that, I mean, that would give me a reason to repel against it because it's, it's pure ignorance. And, you know, they, you know, some, you know, some people act like, you know, they're on top of the world, you know, you know, like, you know, they're doing white people favors and all that and whatnot. That's what it kind of feels like. But actually, when it narrows down to it, I feel like we're just, we're, we're all in this together. And of course, you know, you know, Afro said, you know, we're all, all of us in this together. You shouldn't be racist. It's, it's, that's not really a way to think, you know? I mean, I know, I understand. I know why a lot of people probably think to sit that way. But in the end of the day, you know, that we just have to get out that mental mind thinking. And, you know, I come to realize that, you know, we're really no more different from anyone else. Half our cultures, half our religions, half of our beliefs, half our political uh, ideologies and, and and philosophies and social commentary and artistic property and 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 you know overall philosophy and view in the world are literally not so different. You know, a lot of a, a lot of uh, African cultures are different from West Africa and, and, and the uh, North Africa to Sub-Sahara. 
and 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 East Africa and whatnot. You know, like they're all they're all different in their own ways, but they they all still have you know, you know a unique. You know, they all have something that's really familiar with each other. Like, you know, they still narrow down some people and, you know, some people, not only people in, in East Africa entirely speak uh, Swahili. That's a common misconception, actually. There's a lot of people you'll find in the West part of Africa or the South part of, part of Africa, you know, who speak it and whatnot. So, yeah, that's what it narrows down to and whatnot. So, yeah, we, we just, we got all, we got sticking this together, man. There's more of us than them. We... We come from a really strong lineage, a really strong people. I love, I, I love my culture. I love my history. Although how malicious and how hostile it has gotten, all the, all the, the plant, the pain that was afflicted by, you know, oppressors or you know, you know, people from you know the outside race, you know, all that, you know, we, but and and you know, even to each other sometimes, yeah, that really, that kind of bothers me too. You know, we just all got to stick out in this together. You know, no more all these these civil wars in Africa. You know, you just come to a clear understanding that that there's there's obviously you know something to this to this little whole uh, 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 dog chasing tail uh, uh, pattern more so. We gotta you know rise up. We gotta you know pull all our shit down the side and realize that we're literally you know two sides of the same coin. And going back to Extentacion, XXX Tentacion, I know I kept just interrupting it. It was really tragic that he died because he got stuck up by 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 two African American males. They killed him. They shot him. They shot him. They, they shot him in cold, out of cold blood when he was simply just trying to order a bike, uh, a motorcycle. I'm pretty sure he got robbed. He got stuck up. It was really tragic, and I really do just hate, you know, just hearing, you know, like, again, you know, anyone, any diaspora or and African-Americans or anyone of Afro-descent, you know, drop it, especially from each other. You know, it's just as tragic, you know, uh, with, you know, other race, you know, afflicting, you know, their, their racial, you know, their, their racial distaste on us. That's tragic, too, but it's also really tragic is how on how we uh, carry out each other, you know. That, so yeah, it's just really tragic hearing, you know, where I could be the cops or anyone from a different, you know, racial plane, you know, just inflicting, you know, shit on us or, you know, and it's, and it especially grinds my gears when, you know, we do it to each other because, you know, we got to stick, you know, with each other. We, we got to, you know, fucking rise up from all this shit. We, we you know, we got to start a revolution or something. We got to, you know, we got to just, we, we got to hang tight, man, you know. That's that's just pretty much where fucking that's that's where it just narrows down to and his death it really actually did disturb me and it was really tragic and I feel like he died too soon and I feel like he really got short he got a shortcoming in terms of trying to you know getting his shit straight you know getting his you know trying to turn over a new leaf and you know in terms of his rap career and whatnot it, it just it that really did bother me that's pretty much all I'm gonna say about it about uh, XX Tentacion's death. I'm not going to sit here and laugh like, you know, I was fucking in tears or, you know, it soured me to my core because I wasn't a big time XX Tentacion fan. But I did feel like his death was really fucking shitty and it was really fucking unjust. That's pretty much how I felt about it. Uh, Craig Mack, uh, <laughs> again, not really a big fan. Actually, he's like way before my time. But everyone knows that everyone knows that uh yeah, one familiar song he made, Flavor in Your Ear, and you know, you just hear it a lot, I'm like, yeah, that's my jam, that's my shit. Oh no, the creator died. I'm like, oh damn, that's fucked up. That's pretty much how I feel about Craig Max uh uh death. Uh, I'm not really sure about it one hundred percent, but I'm pretty sure I had some do some health problems and I also heard that uh, he kept his, he ordered for his funeral to be in a uh, secrecy. So I guess that's, that's led to a lot of theories, you know, unless, you know, some Illuminati shit or some blood sacrifice shit. Cause you know, that's totally not the fucking case. He's obviously dealing with some demons, just like, you know, any other normal human being. And, you know, he's not fucking bombarded with conspiracy. You know, he's, he was probably dealing with some shit that, 
he really didn't want the public to know, so that's why he requested it or something. That's pretty much where it narrowed down to, and I respect that. I, for one, actually can't stand a lot of conspiracists, and I, I, I just believe, you know, you just should let these men rest in peace, any of them. You know, uh, the C celebrities of this year that garnered a lot of conspiracies, let's just let them rest in peace. They all died from whatever A, natural causes, uh, uh, causes or 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 uh, black on black violence or gun violence or addiction or you know disease let's just let's just keep it as that and let's stop fucking pulling up conspiracies out of our asses let's just actually like use factual evidence to prove these claims and stop just lying on dead people which to me is like literally fucked up literally the most fucked up thing you can do to anyone who passed uh so yeah that's pretty much how i feel about craig mack you know, it was, you hear that, that really clever song, and obviously he was doing some shit, and, you know, he died, he dropped it, you know, he he kicked the bucket. You know, it was just, it was just really, really, really unfortunate that he passed. And that's pretty much how I feel about him, I feel about Craig Mack's death in general. Uh, only, uh, only leading to theories that, you know, can actually be proven with factual evidence and not, you know, uh, uh, urban legends and, and whatnot, you know. That, you know, people seem to like fucking pulling out their asses because instead of actually using factual evidence to prove these claims, they rather just, you know, stoop to superstition and, and bullshit and their own little fantasies to actually, you know, make it concrete. So, yeah, that's pretty much that's that's pretty much my take on on, on the passing of uh, uh, Craig Mack. Uh, Steven Hillenburg, that really actually depressed me, actually, the most. Uh it kind of feel like Monty Ohm, although despite at the time that Monty Ohm passed, I wasn't really big on Ruby, but when I actually learned about it, you know, when I actually invest myself in Ruby, because I may, you know, rank on Ruby in my early reviews and whatnot, but that's only because I'm giving my earnest, my earnest and honest criticism about it. If something just isn't good, then this isn't good, and if something isn't bad, then, is, then it isn't bad. There is no betweens. That's how you make criticism, being as earnest as possible, being, yes, being objective, but also supplying them with some subjective factors, or if I'm getting the words mixed up, subjective, objective, I'm probably getting the definitions mashed up, but yeah, more or less, if you're going to get your opinion out, that's fine, but if you want to, you know, make it sound reasonable, if, you know, actually want to make it sound plausible, you're going to have to supply it with some real hard-hitting uh, factual evidence. And that's pretty much how I do most of my, uh, that's pretty much, you know, the law from, you know, a whole lot of, you know, critics in general, you know, if you're going to bring up an opinion, that's fine, you know, most of us are opinionated, believe it or not. You already checked out my, uh, what is it, what is a critic uh, video on how, what I think what it means to be a critic and what it really means, you know, and all that. And, you know, yes, we're really opinionated, but then again, most people are admittedly, they they, they, they're scared. They, they call out people for being too opinionated. Or they call out people for being, you know, just having bad taste or whatever. You know, all that drama. They call all that out. Yet, most people in general are just really opinionated. If some people who don't really like something, even if they're not a critic, even if they're not opinionated, they're still going to they're still gonna, uh, tell out their, their, uh, their take on it. Some may say, we didn't ask you, but you know what? Most of us are opinionated, and I'm amongst them, and you know what? That's how it is. And if I'm going to do this shit, I'm going to do this shit right. Not only am I going to get my opinion on it, but I'm going to supply it with factual evidence. I'm not trying to persuade anyone or nothing like that. I may have used uh, 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 obsolete as, in, you know, the lowest score on most of my reviews as, in, you know, obsolete, like, you know, no longer in use you know, outdated, don't trust it, but then again, I only really just use that to more or less, you know, you know, exert, you know, over, kind of overexert it a bit, you know, to like saying like how bad it was, you know, because, you know, that's pretty much how, you know, personas work, that's how mags work, you know, we, you know, entertainers, you know, they put on mags, but you know, not to purposely lie to the public or anything like that, but you know, that's sometimes what people want to see. That's what people came here to see. And, you know, people have polar opposites. 
There's, you know, the normal you, the casual you, and then there's your the entertainment or YouTube you that you're putting on on YouTube or any source of entertainment. And this is one of them. So pretty much that's how I, that's that that's pretty much my take on that concept. On you know what it means to be a pen, to be a critic. I mean, I might get into more, you know, deeper analysis on, you know, what it means to be a critic in the future and whatnot, you know, what it means to be subjective and objective. I might, I, I am going to get to the nitty gritty of those videos in the future. And I'm sure of it. I, I'm sure of it because uh, I'm actually, I'm actually, I, don't, I, I uh, really actually do respect criticism in any shape, shape or form, you know, if, whoever says it, who supplies it, but I really, I really do respect it. Uh, I really do think it's important. Uh, you know, it, it is because, you know, sometimes, you know, if you're going to be an artist and you're going to put your work out, then, you know, if you're going to expect some onlookers who rather, you know, distaste your work, then, you know, you're just going to have to face it because, you know, some people just don't think the same, you know, some people don't have the same taste as you do. So in other words, if you're going to be an artist or an entertainer or an athlete or anything, you know, that, that, that showcases, you know, talent for that, and you're going to be scared of it, then don't take up, don't, don't, don't be an artist. Well, I'm not saying don't be, but, and if, if you're going to be afraid of shit like that, I'm not questioning anyone's line of work, but if you're going to be afraid of what anyone says to you about that shit, then, you know, you shouldn't broadcast your work. Keep it to yourself. If, if you feel really that, uh, uh, if you if you if you feel your 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 ego, if you feel you feel like you know you've been insulted or your feelings hurt, if that's how you really feel, then then keep your work to yourself. Yeah, it's your story, but then again, you wrote it to us. That's like fucking. That's like throwing. It's like throwing someone in sea and smearing them with blood and not expecting sharks to attack them. That's pretty much what that is. You're always gonna get if you're gonna do shit like that. If you're gonna showcase your work, people are always gonna gonna call you out, or have to be negative or positive. That's kind of just how the world fucking works. If you hate criticism, then don't be an artist. Don't showcase your work. That's all pretty much I'm just saying on that part. But anyway, back to what I'm saying. Uh, Steven Hillenburg. That really depressed me the most. It reminded me of Monty Ohm, like, you know. But Monty Ohm, although he could have been, you know. Um, you know, he was kind of a, he was an artist, you know, that was probably might get his name up and whatnot. And, you know, uh, Steven Hillenburg has been pretty much doing this for like about 20 years now, probably even older than that. I only, <laughs> we I only know Steven Hillenburg for Spongebob. 1999, about that time right now, you'll be like 20 or 19. So yeah, he's been in, and you know, he's probably been in it longer, of course. He was a scuba diver. That's pretty much what inspired the creation of SpongeBob, but as far as I know, he's been pretty much been pumping out cartoons since 1999. That's like 20 or 19 years from now, and you know, and and you know that's and it was just really depressing. You know, I, SpongeBob is a cartoon that everyone pretty much grew up on. Uh, it would ever be remember uh, remember for being like a really just you know a show everyone grew up on, a show everyone would laugh at. The show that everyone would, you know, always go to when, you know, shit's down, you know, it cheers them up. It, it makes the best memes, believe it or not. Uh, most of their, all their characters are pretty much iconic and it can almost seem like they can work in, in, in their own, you know, universes and whatnot. You know, you pretty much created like one of the most handful of the most iconic characters in, 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 in the line of, of how cartoon is going and whatnot. And all that so yeah it was just really unfortunate hearing them pass because he pretty much made something i grew up on and something i always remember and even well into my adulthood currently that i will still go to and still laugh at and still like and remark so it was just really unfortunate when i heard that he passed and it really came out of nowhere uh by the way and if i'm pronouncing it right alpaca hawk if i'm pretty sure alpaca hawk he, uh, a cartoonist YouTuber, he pretty much put the word out. And as soon as I saw it, I actually, you know, like just, just thrown in a fit of just, you know, unfortunate, you know, that, that's pretty much how I felt about it. Whatnot. 
Yeah, that's this this pretty much how I feel about the deaths and you know at this year. I'm I'm you know leaving some other personal shit out of course. But that's pretty much how I feel about it, you know, like something was just really unfortunate. You know, something came out of nowhere, something really just got me down, just really got me just in a really stressful mood. And I know it got a lot of you into it too, because it sure did with me. So I know everyone else would probably upset a whole lot of people. So and it just it just happened to you know, just everywhere you turn, just you know, someone kicking the bucket and it just it started come. It started becoming uh, uh, too much, you know. It just, it just couldn't handle it from that point. You know, that's just kind of how it felt. And you know, me already, you know, facing with you know a few uh, psychological issues right now. That you know, nothing crazy. I know I heard it that like you know I have some severe psychosis or something, or some, or schizophrenia or something. That it's not like that, of course. But you know, psychological problems. You know, like depression, anxiety, like I mentioned before. You know, just already being in that state and just hearing, you know, people that you probably have never even shook hands with, even even thought about just that. It just it just started becoming a little upsetting. It, it started become a bit too much, and for the physical state that I was in. Uh, most of my videos this time around again, I, I didn't actually expect to get so many uh, views. I mean, views enough for just you know good enough you know uh i guess i found a some some storm watchers because that's why i call anyone who you know checks out my videos or anyone who just likes my work i call them storm watchers because you know i i keep referring myself as a tornado and you know they watch my content and therefore and and most people who watch for weather are considered storm watchers or meteorologists and you know that's how that's pretty much how I've been ever since. I mean, I know, you know, I, I kind of got to get bigger in the game for, you know, for me to actually establish that. But, you know, it is what it is in this video. Um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how it is. Uh, Media-wise, a whole lot of things have been rather really disappointing or just really, 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 Okay, the hours that's on this video, really just average. Uh, and I meant to actually make a, like, I meant to actually make a, a Venom review, like, like back last year, because I like seen that movie like twice already. So I got it like, you know, just in my head now. And, but, you know, I just kind of totally forgot about it, honestly. And whatnot, I'll, I'll give my honest take on that in a separate video in the future. And whatnot, and 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 so to speak. Uh, as far as my deviant art account went this year, uh, despite of all the, uh, despite you know just starting from the bottom, uh, my deviant art account, you know, it's been pretty, it's been pretty good. You know, some people been checking out here and there. I've been, you know, critiqued. I critique some people. They wrote back to me, and so that pretty much defunks the whole point of you know. When you when you write to when you write to an, when a critic writes to an artist, they never pick it up. Yet, then again, I know I know one person on DeviantArt that I wrote two, that I wrote three critiques on, and he responded to all three of them, and and he responded to all three of them, and he took and he took it as you know, he as a as improvement as as approval. So, you know, that pretty much defunks the whole point of you know. Artists don't read uh, reviews to better themselves, so that pretty much squashes that out. So yeah, and <laughs> hell, a couple of years back, I made a I made a, a a quickie review on Loaf Music, and uh, one of the producers uh, pretty much commented on my video and whatnot. So that still counts as you know feedback from the original creators, or at least you know the head honchos or the one pulling the strings, or the ones who make. You know, both music's music possible, so I guess you know that still counts for something in a certain way. So yeah, that pretty much uh, says it all. You know, my DeviantArt account, you know, it, it's slow right now. I opened up a little donation account, so y'all can you know check that out. Some pocket change would be really generous. And um, like I said before, I'm not really on both of my feet right now. Uh, so yeah, you know, it's been pretty well. Uh, 
I felt pretty uh, uh, good about it. Um, I felt pretty sure about, you know, my capabilities and, and my drawbacks. Hell, I commented on my own videos after I uploaded them, you know, from actually, you know, just viewing them, actually scrutinizing most of the work I posted on uh, DeviantArt. I came to look at it, I'm like, yeah, this is pretty fine, but it could be better. It's a little rough. The, 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 uh, the, comic, box, the comic boxes are a little rigid. Uh, the, the, the coloring, the overall coloring could be better instead of just scribbly, you know, it could be better. And, you know, that's what I'm aiming for. I'm aiming to just get better. It's, it's all about, all, it's all about going forward, not going back, man. Uh, yeah, um, uh, yeah, uh, one step, one step forward, one, uh, 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 20 steps forward, but one step back, you know what I'm saying? One step, one step back, but 20 uh, steps forward, that's pretty much how it, how it is for me, man, that's pretty much where I fucking, that's pretty much the, the type of philosophy I'm going through, you know, hell, that's actually one thing I wanted to be as, since I was like 12, was to be a philosopher, but apparently that didn't work out either, because, you know, I'm not the preachy social commentary type, uh, hell, I actually don't really incorporate most of that in my work, I just, I just want to make, just, you know, entertain that, I just want to make things people look at. I mean, you can be entertained by social commentary, but or something that means stuff, but, you know, all because something has deep social commentary or or, polit or is politi politically correct or has political satire or means stuff doesn't audibly make it good, doesn't audibly, aut automatically make it free from criticism or, 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 or facts or whatnot. I mean, something can mean really good and be, something could be, could have some really deep social commentary, A Scanner Darkly, one of my favorite movies, is an example of it, and be good, but something could be like just outrageously, outrageously pretentious and nonsensical with social commentary that you don't even want to hear it, and you know, it kind of feels like, you know, has some real tone issues, uh, My Hero Academia Naruto, that's pretty much what I'm using as examples. So yeah, you know, it, social commentary, it can be good if, it's, you know, it's not pretentious and, and you know, if it's utilized correctly and, you know, it's fair or if it makes sense. So that's pretty much my overall thought on that concept. It can be pulled out right or it could just be hella pretentious. Like you can't take anything from it. That's pretty much how I feel about social commentary in a nutshell. So yeah, this is uh, pretty much all I got to say about it. Uh, things, you know, kind of feel like they get worse, but I think it's more of a mental thing. Like, like you know, sometimes, and again, some corny ass shit what I'm about to say, you know, things may actually get better or, you know, the other one, things don't get more worse before they get better. But honestly, I actually do things, I do, do, I do actually deeply believe that things are somewhat getting better for me. Although it's just like a, it's, it's like a mental thing. Like, I just feel like things, you know, I feel like things are still, you know, uh, you know, hold me back or still restraining me. Just like, uh, if you're a fighter of any martial arts of any caliber, like, yeah, you can be skilled. You can, you know, do all the procedures, get all the drills right and whatnot. But you got to more so like, you know, you got to break out of your ment of that mental hole, you know, if you want to become excellent. Like, yeah, you can be great. You can be a great martial artist, but you can be sublime. You can be a sublime one. You can be a sublime one once you free yourself from from mental restraints. So pretty much that's how that's that's pretty much how I feel about all that shit. How I feel really deeply about myself, honestly. Like, I know I'm going through shit right now. And, you know, I may right now think it's, you know, just fucking the end of the world. And, you know, I may be think I'm losing this fight. You know, hell's around the corner. You know, that's that's pretty much I'm, that's that's pretty much the mental thought I'm having right now. But in all honesty, I probably might, shit actually might be getting better, you know, or maybe eventually may get there. And, you know, the only restraint is, you know, it's is in here, you know, and once I find a way or... I, I'm still trading it, you know, once you find, you know, that you're not really as stuck as you think, you know, shit would be like a walk in the park, you know, that that's just how it is sometimes. Uh, 
Well, that's pretty much all I got to say for this uh, little reflection video. Um, honestly, <laughs> this is literally like the most longest video I made. Like, literally the longest video I made. And uh, I know some people may be bored to tears with it because, you know, I may be just rambling and, you know, the repetition in this video is strong. It's not, not, not strong, but stone. Like a stone in this video. <laughs> a, st a stone, <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm pronouncing it right. God, that's cringy. But yeah, uh, it, it may be stone in this video, but, you know, <laughs> And it might bore some people. It may seem pretty mundane and repetitive. But, you know, this is the best way, you know, to finally just, you know, break myself from, you know, that, you know, they, they help myself and, you know, to also, uh, you know, get shit off my mind. And, uh, oh, yeah, by the way, uh, expect some major content coming out from all three of the, uh, uh, the websites, accounts that I'm on. Uh, YouTube being one of them, of course, DeviantArt. I actually want to kick off my uh, my comic career in the future. Uh, and yes, I have an Instagram account. <laughs> and so y'all can check that out anytime if I'm on it. I may respond to anything. Uh, y'all can get on the following. I may submit some more, some some art, some art older art pics on there. So, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll get around to it when I get around to it, I guess. And that's pretty much about, that's all about it, man. Uh, y'all uh, Y'all stick around, man. And Honestly, I really do appreciate all the subscribers that still stuck around with me. Like, I'm like, mm. <laughs> how am I supposed to say this? I really do appreciate all the subscribers, although it's like fucking 15 of them. <laughs> so anyway, I really do appreciate all y'all who stuck, who stuck with me as long as y'all did. I thought by the time more I pursue this, more of the content I get into, I thought y'all might have would have been, you know, ditched it by now, like a handful of you might have had. But no, I'm just, I'm just really flabbergasted that most of y'all still stuck around. And, and I'm actually like, I'm actually like really happy y'all did. I, I, it, it's really generous. It, it's, it's really kind of y'all. <laughs> I know I, that y'all stuck around this long. So yeah, I really thank y'all, man. It, the support is nice, man, and whatnot. And I really do hope more of y'all subscribe here. You know, I hope I actually, you know, sort of somehow, somehow make a living on YouTube. Because, you know, this is one of the many artistic uh, expressions that I like to do is making videos like these and critiques and whatnot. So, yeah, I actually do really want to stay as long as I do, you know. And I want to get a whole lot of uh, donations and shit set up, you know, just... They see, you know, just, uh, finally, you know, kick off something, you know, finally pull myself out of this, uh, out of this maelstrom that I'm in, or at least, like I said before, that this is uh, uh, keeping me in, that my mind is keeping me in, and whatnot. So, yeah, thanks, y'all, man. I love all y'all. Uh, happy latest, late New Year. <laughs> I meant to do a video on that, but, you know... Like again, I, like like again, I always say I'll get to it when I get to it. So yeah, you know. So yeah, it was it was it was really generous of all y'all. I, I really do appreciate it, whatnot. And like always, man, y'all already know. Now the storm is watching y'all, and I really and I'm really hoping, and I'm really hoping that you guys enjoy whatever content I shovel out this year. Yeah, that's all about it, man. Peace out.